Hi 6th graders, it's me again Ma'am Ross, your science teacher in YT. Welcome to our next video lesson about the organ system responsible for eliminating waste. Without Excretory system parts and functions. Well, before that, let us have the definition of excretory system. What is excretory system? This is the organ system that is responsible for eliminating wastes from the body. Now, why removal of these waste from the body is necessary? This is necessary because they become poisonous when they remain in the body for long. So the excretory system works with other system and organs in the body. The lungs is the respiratory system which eliminate water vapor and carbon dioxide through exhalation. So this is the first organ for excretory system, the lungs. Another one is the large intestine. The large intestine is found in the digestive system which removes feces by defecation from the large intestine and out through the anus. The third one is our skin. During perspiration, the skin is a part of the integumentary system. It excretes sweat from the sweat glands. And the fourth one is the urinary system, which is the part of the excretory system that collects and eliminates liquid waste. It consists of the left and right kidneys, the ureters, the urinary bladder and the urethra. Now, let us discuss this one by one. The first is a kidney which is 10 cm long and 5 cm wide each. It eliminates water, urea, and other waste products in the form of urine. Urine is a liquid waste that passes from our body. The blood carries waste from the different parts of the body to the kidneys through the renal arteries, the blood vessels leading to the kidneys. Inside the kidneys, the blood passes through the filtering units called the nephrons. The blood carries waste products from the different parts of the body to the kidneys through the renal arteries, the blood vessels leading to the kidneys. Meanwhile, the water, glucose, and other nutrients are returned to the bloodstream through the renal veins, which are colored blue in this illustration. Second is the ureter. Ureters are tubes that are approximately 45 cm long each. Ureters otherwise is carry urine from the kidneys to the urinary bladder, as seen in this illustration. The third one is the urinary bladder, which is a pear-shaped muscular sac located in the pelvis where urine is temporarily stored. So this is the urinary bladder, which holds more than two cups or 473 milliliter of liquids. So that is the urinary bladder. The fourth one is the urethra, which, uh, which is 20 cm long in males. And for females, it is only 5 cm long. So this is the urethra for females. Now, let us proceed with our learning task. Wow! Learning task 1, just identify what is being described. Choose the best answer. 
Just choose the correct letter for this learning task 1. Aside from that, we have the learning task 2. Yes, determine if each sentence is correct or incorrect. Write C on the line if it is correct, and if it is incorrect or not correct, and circle the word or words that make or makes it incorrect, and write the correct word or words on the line. Good luck for our learning task number two. Thank you for watching. Don't hesitate to ask any question on the Kelvin section. And our reference is 504A Learners.